really honored to be around. Uh, this evening, um, this evening um, uh, after listening to all the people tonight that know him best, I feel you really understand why the previous award winners of this award chose Dr. Stone to receive the Howard Hughes uh, Memorial Award. The, the Howard Hughes Award memorializes the, uh, the entrepreneurial and uh, the spirit and the accomplishments of Howard Hughes. And it was conceived by the Howard Hughes family. Um, and the, uh, the selection process uh, culminates in an annual vote by the previous award winners, which is very unusual uh, in that uh, to be selected, um, you really have to um, be um, regarded by, by your peers as somebody who really uh, has um, had a lifelong record of accomplishment. Um, so the process goes all the way back to the original award winners, Jack Northrup and uh, Jimmy Doolittle. Uh, and after dinner, Mrs. is gonna talk more about the award. I'd like to take a few minutes to give you a little background and update you on the Aero Club uh, activities. Uh, the Aero Club is one of six major clubs uh, that belong, that's affiliated with the National Aeronautic Association. The NAA was formed in 1905. Uh, the very advent of human flight to, to support the uh, art and sport and science of uh, aviation. Our club here in Southern California um, was, uh, was formed in 1925 um, and uh, specifically to promote um, the uh, aviation and aerospace uh, in the Southern California. Uh, our club consists of, um, of scientists, engineers, communicators, teachers, um, anybody who really uh, gets their, uh, their blood pumping and their, uh, and their uh, attention when an airplane flies over or a, or a launch vehicle launches and cares about what we're doing. Um, the, uh, as an individual club, um, we've been very fortunate in uh, having a significant financial legacy. Um, although we raised scholarship money with events like this, um, the, uh, 35 years ago, our scholarship fund was greatly enhanced by the general, generous donation of the Howard Hughes family of the H-4 Hughes flying boat to our club. Uh, it was, uh, many of you remember, it was in Long Beach for many years, um, and we held many, uh, not being up around the time, but um, there were many uh, events held there uh, under the wings of the, uh, of the, of the H-4. Um, but then the uh, things changed in Long Beach and um, the, uh, the dome got uh, taken over by other people and uh, we had to, uh, the club had to uh, move the, uh, the uh, Spruce Goose um, to H-4. Um, we were very, the, the leadership at the time of the Air uh, Club was, uh, and some of the people are still here, the club uh, managed to um, arrange to have the, uh, um, the Spruce Goose moved to, uh, and for, they arranged for the sale of the Spruce Goose to the Evergreen Museum. Uh, that led to a, um, a dramatic uh, source of money for us for our scholarship fund. Uh, and that gift, along with uh, Marsha Toy's scholarship fund, Marsha Toy was the previous president, and she donated a significant amount of money. Um, our, we have a very robust scholarship program for local high schools and college students. We award six scholarships annually to students uh, demonstrating academic excellence and, and an interest uh, in careers in any of the professions supporting our industry. Uh, since the inception of the fund, um, through events like, like this one, we have raised an additional $500,000. Um, nice. shepherd our resources uh, during that time. The club has been very careful about it, thanks to our treasurer who makes sure we don't waste money. Uh, we have $500,000 in the bank. So, so it's, uh, it, it's a very robust fund, and um, we have a scholarship committee under John Durant uh, with a number of teachers and, uh, and volunteers on our board to uh, 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 we solicit uh, uh, all across Southern California for uh, students. And it gets to be a real tough competition. We get 30, 40 uh, uh, kids who are just outstanding. Um, the, uh, one of the ladies, uh, John was reminding me this evening here, one of the ladies uh, is graduating from uh, Cal Poly at the age of 17. 
Ranch Palos Verde City Councilman, past mayor, the Honorable Susan Brooks here.